Now, there once was a rapper named T.I. who was championed by social media a few years ago. Whenever somebody would say some BS, he would stand on his principles, be consistent, and give his unwarranted opinion by calling out that fellow celebrity or somebody that had some type of hole within the culture. So one day, one of his close friends, Lil Wayne, said something that the black community, black Twitter, black Instagram, social media as a whole, who Clifford Harris, T.I., actually pandered to Lil Wayne said something they didn't like now T.I. was in a tough position should he say something should he go hit Wayne's phone how should he handle this well T.I. gave into the image and he actually came on and called Lil Wayne out which for a few years ruined their relationship fast forward now T.I. is in Lil Wayne's position with Lil Boosie cause now Boosie is actually championed by social media for being consistent for standing on all 10 and now T.I. is actually the one that we would say is doing some clown stuff. So find it as a surprise when T.I. gets on the internet yesterday and see that he's being called a rat. He's being singled out for his situation against Boosie. Now T.I. is actually now taking to Instagram and saying that Boosie should have handled the situation the way that he should have handled the situation against Lil Wayne. I cannot make this up. So let's read this caption. It's rather along i'm gonna try to speed it up for y'all it says yeah so i don't know if it's you or your og uncle that needs to see it but i got my paperwork ready to show pull up my number the same and my address the same my nigga to get on the net and speak on shit you've never spoke to me about is leaving me to believe you've been hiding your heart the whole time i'd never speak certain disrespect on your name slash reputation about a if homie to the convict code say when in doubt pull the paperwork out and if you ain't did that now I don't know what type of time you want, but I say again, if it was a question or confusion about anything, I said you could have called and asked. So you can report back and tell your OG, or you could have pulled up and checked the black and white like I'm offering now. Either way, my nigga, I ain't bound to no nigga opinion of me, because what they think will never overrule what I know. So don't wonder no more, homie. Answer the if and pull up and report back to the rest of these niggas who opinions matter to you so much because i don't give a fuck about no nigga that think about me that tail shell never wag the dog leadership leads with facts and stats we don't follow no fantasy land shit remember <clears throat> remember that i ain't bending my knees for nothing or fearing nothing but god so come on and see what you speak about so next time you can speak intelligently then he tagged boosie's page and said i expected more from you this shit ain't solid obviously i thought we was something that we wasn't. Damn, man, that sounded like a bad breakup. Now, I look at this a couple ways. Now, y'all see how I just said how T.I. once did the same thing. I do understand that people grow. T.I. eventually ended up apologizing to Lil Wayne publicly and his family and it was no longer no harm, no foul. People make mistakes, people grow from it. I understand. So eventually, maybe that can be the outcome of this T.I. and Boosie situation. Now, some would say for T.I. is that you said this publicly. So, when some Somebody responds publicly you can't be mad some would say boosie you have a relationship a friendship and y'all are also doing business together so at least you could have hit ti's phone i tend to agree with that part i also tend to agree with the point that ti is making where he's saying you let your og shut down your business you let some 61 year old man who's still holding a street code and a street law and is 61 years old you're letting him tell you how you need to run your business So essentially, you let a 61-year-old man take food off of your table. Or we could say you let a 61-year-old man tell you to do something and you didn't even handle it the correct way to where you gonna hit your business partner and say, hey, look, man, we can't do this because this is what I gotta stand on. Nobody's mad at Boosie for standing on what he stand on. We mad at Boosie because of the way that he handled the situation. T.I. saying, I don't let people dictate how I move. You also didn't do the proper protocol of coming and checking my paperwork. Or if you would have asked me about it, I could explain to you what happened. Now, we will cut Boosie some slack. He's actually saying, I don't know if T.I. actually did that. But you don't even need to do that when you can just call his phone. So what do y'all think about this situation, man? Do y'all think Boosie handled this correct way? Do y'all dig what T.I. is saying? I know a lot of people publicly at this moment aren't really that much of a fan of T.I. because of his online antics. But let's erase the name. I want y'all to tell me y'all honest opinion if this was just regular Joe Degler Smegler. 
How would y'all want this situation? Would y'all agree with T.I.? Let me know something, man. Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, and we out, baby. Daddy channel. <laughs> I'm going for daddy channel.